When you think of Brooklyn lacrosse, you think of thrown lacrosse. When you think of thrown lacrosse, you think of Joe. He's done a lot for the game, he's an excellent stringer, and here he is explaining this week's competition. I'm Joe Williams, the founder of Throne Lacrosse, and we are the premier stringing provider based out of Brooklyn, New York. For our contest for season two, we're featuring our new stringing system, Fiber. Uh, the thing that's so cool about it is made from a single proprietary fiber for the entire thing. So the mesh, the sidewall, and also the shooters. So what you guys need to do is pick one item from each of the fiber boxes and string your best stick. So that includes one piece of mesh, one sidewall string, and one shooter. Why I think our challenge is a good one and is a challenge is because you have to only use one sidewall, one piece of mesh, and one shooter. And the idea is the F from the fiber logo is made from one line going through that makes an F. It makes something complicated out of something so simple. And the winner of our week is going to win the entire fiber line. So if we make it and it has the fiber logo on it, you're gonna win one of it and we'll probably sprinkle in some other things that we haven't even released yet. Now that we know what these guys are up against, let's see what it is they created this week. Hey guys, Joe from Throne here, and right now we're gonna pick the winner of the first challenge of season two of String League. First off, I wanna thank all the stringers for their hard work testing out our new fiber system and uh, really offering five great entries that are very unique. They made this quite difficult, but nonetheless, we gotta do it. Number five, we have Nick Lack Strings. This one was definitely a unique concept, uh, but kind of veered away a little bit from the actual challenge and cutting the mesh and doing some stuff like that. Uh, just wasn't really what we were looking for. We we're looking for more of a focus on actual sidewall stringing technique, um, more so than trying to incorporate it into a, a different kind of understanding of how to use it. And number four, we have Jack stringing. My favorite part of what he did was he used multiple sidewall holes with looping um, to do the, the actual attaching of the mesh to the sidewall, which I thought was unique and interesting, but that's kind of where it stopped for me. Um, it was pretty basic. Um, the other thing is he started in one corner, kind of went around, which made it a little bit different, but uh, it just didn't really stand out to me. I think if he used that looping method in a little bit more aggressive, more um, deliberate manner, um, he would have had better results. And number three, we have lacrosse works. Um, this one was super clean, but had a few issues with just in terms of the rules. Uh, he didn't use any shooters. I actually think he tried, or he gave himself a harder project by not using any shooters and using the sidewall as it, which was a unique concept. And also um, the top string, um, I like that he did the drop. It's you know challenging, but it was a little bit heavy. Um, it seemed a little bit unnecessary. Um, I think if he cleaned that up a little bit and then used the shooters, he would have had a good chance of winning. And number two, we have Richie B. My favorite thing about this was that he did a drop top with two strings, but it was actually only made from one string. So figuring that out was definitely difficult. And then making that function um, is even more difficult and it seemed like he really had a stick that was dialed in for him right off the bat um, and you know using a different type of product but with the fiber using a different head he's probably hasn't used and putting that all together in a funky pocket and making it work immediately uh, kudos that's pretty awesome and the winner of the throne challenge is FL Stringer he absolutely did everything perfect in my mind. Um, super clean, super functional, and had really elegant, unique details. Uh, the top string was just perfect in my mind, and I think everyone noticed that shooter cord kind of being x and took a second take and tried to figure out what exactly he did. Uh, never seen anything like that, and manipulated the sidewall into the other parts of the fiber system, which is kind of a, a big narrative there. And the other thing I really liked was that he took a face-off head took our challenge, which really had nothing to do with the head or facing off, but incorporated the fact that it's a face-off head and make a face-off pocket with it that I think anyone could pick up and use um, was awesome. So amazing job, absolutely amazing job. Congratulations, man. That wraps up our first week of competition. We're gonna send this all the way to the other side of the country to Tom Layden at Red Star Lacrosse. Here he is to tell you what's coming up next week. I'm Tom Ledeen from Red Star Lacrosse, and next week on String League, we're gonna challenge our stringers to get weird. We're gonna use the wrong tools for the job from a hardware store, and chances are we're gonna see some creativity, some innovation, and some flat out strange things. I'm excited. Till next time, guys. Keep your string going, take care, keep laxing.